Let's consider this term liabilities. This business has assets of $227,000, but on the equity side, we can see that there is a liability to the AMP for $10,000. This means this business has taken out a $10,000 loan from the AMP. That is a liability. In this example, AMP has an interest or ownership in the assets of the business. So equity in this particular example, on this particular date, is made up of liabilities of $10,000, that's the equity held by AMP, and the remainder, $217,000, is held by the owner, Annie. Owner's equity, $217,000, but there is also an external equity or an obligation to an outsider, in this case, AMP. So equities, in this more realistic example, is made up of both liabilities, that's obligations to external parties, and also the equity by the owner. So equities is normally made up of both liabilities and owner's equity. Here's a definition of liabilities. Liabilities are obligations that will lead to a future outflow of economic benefits. Liabilities are obligations that will lead to a future outflow of economic benefits. So it's a future obligation that the business has. In this case, $10,000. Now let's think about your home again. Let us assume that your parents took out a loan or a mortgage from the NAB bank when they bought your home. Now the loan or mortgage is a liability. It has to be repaid sometime in the future. Who has equity in your home? Now, assuming that the NAB is still owed money, the equity is going to be shared between the NAB, which has a claim or ownership in the uh, asset, and of course your parents will also have an equity in the home. So equity made up of the liability to the National Australia Bank and owner's equity, your parents' equity. When the parents first took out the loan, the equity to the National Australia Bank was much bigger than the parents' equity. Most people start off with a small deposit, that's their equity, and they borrow a lot of money to buy the home. So the equity is usually liability being much bigger than the uh, owner's equity. During the life of the loan, that changes. The equity held by outsiders, the liabilities, tends to reduce and the parent's equity or the owner's equity tends to increase. And of course, on that day, when everybody has a big party, the loan is paid off, there is no liability anymore. The parents or the owner would once again have full equity in the home, 100% owner's equity. So equity refers to who has an interest or claim in the assets. And in terms of a business, that's normally shared between liabilities and owner's equity. Let's revisit the balance sheet. In a balance sheet, as we have seen, two things balance. Total assets always balances with total equities. Assets balance with equities. A business has assets and that the interest in those assets is usually shared between liabilities, external claims on the assets, in this case AMP, $10,000, and the equity held by the owner, in this case, any $217,000. We review our definition of assets. Assets are resources under the control of the business, which will provide future economic benefits. We review our definition of liabilities. Liabilities are obligations that will lead to a future outflow of economic benefits. And we've seen that owner's equity is the owner's interest or ownership in the assets of the business. The accounting equation shows the relationships that are in the balance sheet. The accounting equation is assets equals equities. In this example above, it's 227,000 assets equals equities 227,000. Or we could break it up to equities equals liabilities 10,000 and owner's equity equals 217,000. In total, that equals 227,000. Assets equals equities, the accounting equation.